All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to navigate and a few of the basics that you need to know about uh, tw twin motion. I briefly uh, went over them in the last video, but let's. I want to start by clicking on this area, and I want to go get the, the demo scene that is included so that you can kind of play around uh, if you want before you kind of get going into anything, okay? So I'm going to open this materials room, which is included with twin motion automatically, so you should have this. And I want to kind of show you a, a, a bit of the ways of manipulating, transforming, and uh, etc. Okay, so let's uh, wait for that to open. So the demo scene is finally installed. Uh, it doesn't take too long, but uh, you can see what a really well laid out uh, scene created for uh, Twin Motion can look like. So uh, what I want to do is take a few minutes to show you how to navigate. Uh, if you recall, you can use either the arrow keys or the WASD keys and I prefer the WASD keys because uh, right next to so I'll just click on here so I'm moving W is moving forward S is sideways D is moving to the right and A is moving to the left the reason why I like the WASD keys is because you can with the Q key which is right there you can move up or down with the E key so you know if you're trying to navigate uh, it's very uh, handy the other thing too that you can do is by uh, right clicking on your mouse is you can turn and look around. Okay, uh, this is similar to uh, Unreal Engine, except normally you have to click the Alt key, but in this case you don't have to. The other thing that's really useful is if you have a middle scroll mouse button, you can move forward and back. And as you can see, they've included some of the all these assets are available in uh, the software. So um, in twin motion so i'll show you where you can get all this so any project that you create and that you want to include these humans you want to include these checkers you want to have a material that looks exactly like this it's available in twin motion you want to have this car it's available in twin motion okay and and that I, I don't know if you noticed when i clicked on the car some of the cool customizabilities that are art they're built into many other models but i can just change the color of the car with the click of a button okay I can go like this, get that color, and, uh, you know, very powerful. Uh, let's see if I can apply that to, uh, it's not letting me go and put it on the car, but that's what I want it to do. So I'll just press escape and see if it lets me, no, it doesn't, that's fine. Um, so you have this color picker tool as well. And uh, so I'm just going to, rotate around here see some of the materials that are available and this demo scene is really good to start with because it shows you what you can do in unreal engine and another really important hotkey that i'm going to show you is let's say you see an item and you click on it and this is universal almost in all 3d uh, software programs that are etc press the f key and it zooms to the thing uh, and if you're looking like here you go you want to close up with that press f so that way, you, you know, it's a lot easier than navigating. So all the things you see in here, again, can be added to your scenes. So I'm going to use the scroll mouse button to go up. And I want to go around this room. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to walk around, let's say. And I want to just show you something that is over here. Um, it's your speed. So there's three speeds. And the hot, if I'm not mistaken... The hotkeys are one, two, and three. So you got walking speed. So here's walk. Right now, I'm going to go press one. This is your walking speed. Okay. And so that you can see the material up close here. I'm just going to move up a little bit and I'm going to rotate. If I press two on the hotkey, this is basically bicycle speed. So you see, I'm moving around a lot quicker. If you find it, you're a beginner and it's like moving too quickly you might have you might want to just press on one as you get used to it and if, and the last speed number three is car speed which is really fast so watch what happens when i press w okay there it is okay the next thing i want to show you guys are the uh, the uh, transform tools and the move tools and the rotate tools so uh these the hotkeys are a little different if you use unreal engine um it's four five and six so four is the move tool so I clicked on this cube and it has to be selected you can tell it is because uh, uh, it's highlighted 
and I can move it around, okay? And I can also rotate it, uh, which normally a rotate is not available unless uh, in most software programs when you have the move tool, but this one has it and that's fine. So I'll press uh, the regular rotate and this allows you to rotate like this and like that. I'm gonna control Z that because it doesn't look good but you can see how the rotate tool is there. And that's the number five key. And the number six key is the transform tool. So in case you haven't used a 3D software before, this will transform it on the Z axis. Okay, so it goes up. This will transform it on the, I don't know if it's uh, X or, or Y, but you get an idea of what it does. And this transforms it on the other axis. And if you wanna keep the proportions, you transform it from the middle. Okay. So in this, uh, I just want to show you how you can change the materials. It's really easy. You use the eye picker tool, click, and it shows you which color you have. And let's pretend I, I want green. I just, boom, drag it like that. It's that easy. So uh, what about this one? Let's do the same thing over here. And I'm going to drop that on here. And as you can see, wherever you drop it, it kind of goes. Uh, let's see if I drop this in here. It does not look good. You can easily uh, apply materials into your level which is uh, really cool and as you can see there's animated characters we're going to look at all that a little bit later on um yeah so there you go that's good for now i'll probably do another video to show you a few more tricks uh, using this demo model so very uh, powerful uh, tool twin motion and like i said everything's already built in all right if you have any questions let me know thanks